How you doing, YouTube? Matt Massa Beer Reviews back with District 96. Yeah, it's their two-party system. You see these words down here? That says double buck. Technically, it says double buck, but double buck. It's a double buck. Not a lot of people know what know what that is in today's beer world. You know, it, you know, especially from a brewery like District 96. Not that they don't make these beers, but you know, more often than not, it's about like big old hazies and snakes and all that kind of stuff. But we're stuck with the with the donkey and the elephant. If they have a baby, maybe they have a goat or a ram or whatever. We'll see what's what. I picked this up from the brewery and I'm going to drink it. I can't tell you how excited I was, one, to go to the brewery, and two, to see that there was a Doppelbach available. I wish they dated their cans, because I want to know how long this beer was sitting at the brewery. Uh, I would imagine for quite some time, because people don't just don't F with well, Doppelbachs, but this dude does. Um, Label-wise, it's what they do on every single can. Beer-wise, that's Merriam-Webster Dictionary, Doppelbach. You know... Uh, maybe a little bit less hazy in a perfect world than I'd like it to be. But, you know, it looks the part of more of a kind of Salvatore Bach as opposed to like a Celebrator kind of Bach. Celebrator has this little bit of cloudiness to it, maybe a micron darker, but again, we'll digress. But it looks the part, man. Rich kind of heavily dosed iced tea kind of vibes. That kind of khaki colored head, what was there. Let's give it a swirl and get it back up in there. And just looks the part of a rich, bready delicious baki bak i'm just gonna say weird shit now anyway let's get into this that smells awesome it does it's it does nice rich bready component caramel vibes brown bready vibes but it's like brown bready baked in caramel everything's cohesive here just notice there's a wasp nest right up there and hopefully i don't get stung um <laughs> um yeah, it's got this nice kind of combination. It's not just sweet kind of carameliness and then sweet breading or breadiness. It's a combination of the two. It's kind of baked together. Everything here is cohesive. Not getting much as far as bittering. Just more of a bready, rich dinner in a glass. It's what Doppelbach's supposed to be. Let's dive in. Cheers. I'm freaking out about that horn. That's not, it's tiny. It's like the size of a baseball. I don't know why I'm even bothered. That's nice. That's very tasty. 7% too. That's that's something to be um, proud about. Because at first, my knee-jerk reaction was nice. Rich bready component, a little bit of caramel, not overly sweet. A nice soft texture mouthfeel. The only thing I was going to knock it for was a little bit of lack of vibrancy. You know, I just wanted a little bump. A little bump in, um, in how it came off as far as impact. But... You know, I'm thinking about the Apple Box at more in the 8% range, 8 plus percent range. Whereas this one's at 7, you know? So it's giving you that richness without being overly heavy and just something that you can drink. I mean, you know, once you get down to 7% and you have a rich malty kind of base beer like this, two of these in one night isn't out of the possibility of you feeling like shit in the morning. You know what I mean? You get, you know, once you get to the 8, 9% range, and you're like, okay, you're talking about a difference between 14 and 18, 19%. Hyper, hyper clean, clean, well made. There's almost like a subtle, a little spiciness to it too. Like um, I'm gonna say, what's the thing? I, I can't think of it. It's a I want to say mint, but it's not mint. It's probably more like cilantro or something like that. Something a little soapy, a little bit minty. There's almost like a little spiciness to it. Um, but it just comes off as a lager too. It's it, it, it's it's fluffy and creamy and dense, but the finish is clean and quick. It's not like a, a heavy beer, even though it has that soft, sultry mouthfeel. You can drink this whole thing and not have any kind of like oh, oh, that was a big beer. It's that kind of thing. It's it's that cool trick some of these beers are capable of pulling off, and this one does it very very nicely. Yeah, a little bit of spiciness. I didn't want to say mint. It's not that, though. But it's a lager through and through. Epically well made. Like, I can't express how just clean the beer is to drink, you know? And they give me that maltiness. Give me that little bit of caramel vibes on top of that nice, big, brown, bready vibes. With that soft mouthfeel, but finish clean and crisp and come off lager. Like, that 
it's a hard thing to pull off. It is. This has no problem pulling it off. It's almost like that, you know, when you see, like, a really great football player. Not like a shitty Tom Brady-like, but, like, someone genuinely good like a Dan Marino or, or like, a Patrick Mahomes. And they're just effort, effort, effortless when they do the things they do. It's kind of like that thing. It's like, man, just make it look so easy. Don't you? Two-party system. Um, is this one of the better Apple box I've had? Is like, yes. Is it Mount Rushmore Star? Probably. I mean, especially if you talk about, you know, taco. He's trying to eat something. No. Don't eat whatever the hell you're trying to eat right now. Don't do it. Um, <laughs> it's, um, you know, it, it's refreshing to see these beers come from a small brewery. And when they do it and do it as well. Got to give them props. Uh, value availability on this. I want to say it was like creepily cheap priced. Doppelbach, I think I want to say it's like 14 bucks for a four pack. You're talking about ABV level on this, stuff like that. Dense amount of maltiness and ingredients. I think that's a steal. And leave you with if you like what we like this beer, if you like Doppelbach, end sentence. I mean, it's that on the nose. This is Doppelbach. It's really good. If you like Doppelbach, you'll think this is really good. There you go. Review on the books. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Down there, if you want to talk about it, let me know if you've had this beer. That's very important for you guys to do that. I want to know. Uh, massive beers, if you want to check me out doing this social media stuff. Beer Massif, that's a podcast I do. I just put up a podcast of me going to District 96. Check that out. And while you're there, well, if you go to the podcast, it'll tell you to come back to the YouTubes. But while you're in the podcasting universe, go check out. We talked to Johnny from District 96. we got to do that again. So, anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed our review. Hopefully enjoying a little District 96. Hope to see you next time. Cheers.